What's up everyone, welcome back to another video bake clip on my YouTube channel. So this week I just want to speak about something that I really believe it's really important for all of us who are trying to learn something new. So the today's videos are done on that way on the YouTube that I speak about educational videos. All the educational videos on YouTube are done in a specific way today and this way is that they are done in a specific way in order for you to keep watching on that videos. Let's say that I'm editing this video that fast that I'm gonna delete all the breaks in between of my sentences and that every Every new sentence is going to be just said and really planned carefully without any breaks and every time I switch to the new sentence there's going to be a certain change in a scene or the angle of the camera and that way those videos are going to be super super dynamic. So the excuse for those videos is that these videos are gonna try to save your time but in general those videos are done on that way to bring the benefit only to the YouTube creators because most of the YouTube videos are gonna see the other people that are making or doing the similar stuff as they do as a competitors and they believe that if they edit these videos in super fast way that they're gonna keep your attention and that way they're gonna keep your attention span active. So this is the main reason why I want to make this video and as you can see I'm also doing this video on a certain way the same as I just mentioned just in order to tell you that it is not that hard and that I can do it as well. But I promise you I will never make videos of this type as I believe they are super super dangerous and they are actually wrong and they are doing more harm to you than they are gonna do good. So the idea of my videos is that I really try to spread the information because I do remember how hard it was for me to learn all the things that I did especially because I learned everything that I know today by my own as in the time when I was learning and making the first steps there was no YouTube, there was no even the uh, the technology of the, that exists today so I can say that this type of the digital audio production is uh, was starting actually and was on certain point when I started and that I grew as a producer as well as the technology was growing so I needed to learn on the way and there was much less uh, different technologies plugins and other things softwares and uh, hardware as well uh, when I was learning then that they are today. So I know how it how it was for me to learn everything that I know and I know how much time and focus and effort I needed to spend and to sp spend in a way that I'm gonna generate uh, knowledge or to develop a technique or anything uh, in order for me to increase the sound quality or the writing quality or whatever was the goal for me. So when I see the videos today that are done in that way that every time there's a new sentence there's a change of the angle, there's a little bit of zoom in, all the sentences are done on that way just for you to keep watching on those videos and everybody will say that these videos are really good because they're gonna save you a lot of time and everything but if you pay attention of what those videos are actually doing to you is they're done in this way just for in order for you to continue watching in that way to increase the watch time of the videos of that creator and that way you are actually making yourself a bit more spoiled as you are getting the information you need really really fast and there is no gaps and you uh, don't get distracted because they are done on that way but most of these creators that are doing this type of the videos they are gonna go through all the YouTube schools that are existing out there the how to make your YouTube channel successful and in those videos in those articles in those courses they're gonna they are actually teaching you to do the videos of this type that are attention span of the well, viewers are really low and that you need to edit in that way that fast because they're gonna get distracted and they're gonna go and watch some other video. So when it comes to me and my channel I will never do this type of the videos because I believe they're gonna do much more harm than good to you because these type of the videos are actually the, the, the cause why the attention span is going even lower. Also when you want to read a book you need to go slowly and you need to go through all these letters. There is no way for you to just 
pass over to it and that they delete the spaces in between of the words because you just want to read it faster. So all of these videos that are existing today, I also want to mention the click bite videos. There are so many of them. I saw so much of them in shorts. Like, I don't know how people are trying to teach anything in uh, uh, 60 seconds long videos like how to EQ vocals and then you do this and then you go and you put the high shelf and that's it this is so dangerous to all of you who might be on the on the path for gaining some knowledge and learning audio production so there the, I really want to address this because there's so many of questions I'm getting just because of these type of the videos like I saw in this video this channel has a lot of followers and this is gaining the trust and you believe that this is some person that knows something because there's many of people who are following them so this is not the case as you can see I'm know for now and the comments on my channel are really really great and I really thank all of you and I'm really happy that you are recognizing the information that I'm trying to share on my channel but you will see that I'm not getting a lot of views because this is not my goal. My goal is to spread information out there and if there's somebody who is curious about topic that I want to express, he's gonna watch it till the end. I don't wanna help you to get to the information that you need. I'm gonna provide you the information but you will need to watch the whole video and that way to spend a little bit or to give you a bit of your time in order for you to, to get the right information. So I don't believe that I will do any favor to all of you to just edit those videos to be super fast and that way to keep your attention lower and lower. So everything good that's gonna come in your life is not gonna come that easy and that fast. So the, the speed about the videos and the spreading information is not my goal but also uh, about the click bites I already expressed as I saw so many videos I just saw recently like how to EQ the vocals there's so many factors for us when we need to address like EQing the vocals only the position of the microphone now it's over here and now it's gonna provide much more uh, low mids than it would be if I would be much closer to it so the distance, the type of the microphone, the type of the preamp, uh, the level of the energetic level of my voice. Am I yelling or am I talking a normal voice or am I whispering? So all of these things are going to be involved into making a decision on how to EQ vocals. The same goes like how to compress a bass line or how to equalize this or that. It's completely, completely useless. These type of the videos are not going to do anything good to you. And especially in the shorts, I don't remember that they saw even one good information because 60 seconds is it's not possible to to teach someone else how to do certain thing like maybe if if it's a, a informational video in a way of uh, how to use a certain plugin like if you want to do this click this this and that this is okay but still like how to some big topics some big titles like how to EQ vocals how to align the kick in the bass I saw like the short like how to align like you take this you take the tails make it shorter put this one that's it like no 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 end frequency of the kick no the, the fundamental frequency of the bass line no nothing all of this this is no important you just do this and and you are good so be careful of these videos and uh, honestly like how did I protect myself from this is at the time I'm following all of these people who are that I recognize that they're doing click bites and that they are trying to make these super fast videos just to keep me watching and that way generate them a views so they can get some revenue from the YouTube partnership from selling the ads and whatsoever. So be careful of the click bite videos and also the attention span is something that needs to be trained. I'm also recognizing myself that my attention span is much lower that I'm finding uh, harder to to finish a book to do this or that because i get distracted so much times so i started practicing a few years ago the meditation meditation is a great way to keep focus on one point and i believe it's a really good way for increasing the attention span which is super super important for learning anything in your life uh, anything new so in order if you want to learn the business or marketing or this or that you will need to learn certain books but if your attention span is low then there are much less chances that you're gonna finish up that book and that you're gonna learn what you need to learn but all of these videos that are done on 
this super fast editing way are gonna make you more harm than good. This is my opinion, but let me know what you think about in the comments and maybe we can discuss it. But honestly, if it's something edited super, super, super fast for you just to consume it, I don't see how that video can help you. Okay, this was the video that I wanted to do for a very long time. Now I finally managed to record it and I hope that you like it and see you soon on another video. Bye.